I mean, like, that just sounds, you know, how many serial killers have done that? And the, this whole time they were like, I wasn't, I didn't mean to beat her to death. I thought she wanted it. <laughs> you heard it here. Robbie beat someone to death. Well. <laughs> Again. Again. Yeah. Hello! And welcome to Tea with Turner, I think? Teasing with Turner? I like either. I just think that Tea with Turner sounds like Tina Turner. Oh. Which you could be going for. No, I'm going for Lana Turner. Oh. She was a movie star once. Huge. Not wide, but like, big star. Ah, trash. <laughs> <laughs> trash talk with Turner! There it is! Oh. Yay! Gosh, My actually. little trash bags. I think trash bag is more endearing. <laughs> trash Absolutely. could be flirtation or like, get the fuck away from me. For a living, you are... A drag what, queen. How do you explain well, your job to people? I like to think that I'm just a performer. Truthfully, drag is just the medium that I'm using. I've become a drag queen, so now I don't do anything. Please, <laughs> like, traveling. Kitchen knives! <laughs> like, I just walk up to people and slash their throats. <laughs> not you, you're not wearing the right color. Anyway, <laughs> well, we were chatting the other day how adult entertainers, sex educators, and then drag queens are very similar in many ways. Like, I, I sell sex, I perform and do adult well, things. Well, you sell fantasies. Exactly. Whatever the fantasy may be for that specific film. And I sell like an illusion, which is very similar. It's um, your brand, you know, right. it's what you're putting forward. Right. So people always have misconceptions about what you are, or what you're selling, or who you are even, with the amount of editing that goes on in the world that we live in. I mean, I know in porn a lot, you, you see, you know, an hour long worth of content of people fucking they're not fucking for an entire hour no, straight. there is a lunch break. If, if your dick is hard for that long, go see a doctor. Because that's <laughs> <Immediately>. not normal. Immediately. <laughs> but at the same time, drag is very much a brand and what you market. And Absolutely. It is really fake. That's actually reality. Now the thing is, we also do things to our penises, if you will. What? Yeah, it's true. No, no, we you have, have a penis? penis? No, not right oh. now. I got rid of it. I'm like a Mr. Potato Head. I left it in my bucket of parts at home. But you tape, and taping is a very difficult thing to do, and you need to do it to the most sensitive area of your body. So I think that alone is like, oh. You know, when you have to go to the bathroom and you like get there and it, you really gotta go because you've had like 18 venti teas from a little company that did real well, Starbucks, <laughs> um, here in Seattle. And endorse me. Not a sponsor, but. Be your mascot. God! And of course, after you're done taping, it doesn't look like a penis anymore. You gotta get a bike pump out and like re pump it back up so it even looks right. <laughs> And that's where the crossover happens because I'm sure porn helps with that, <laughs> And <right>? there's pumps. <laughs> yeah. It's like going to Starbucks and getting so many pumps of sweetener in your iced tea. I was just talking about, we need to open up a donut shop. Do I want to call it Glory Hole? <laughs> but I only want to I'm have into it though. Tea, like, donuts, and bathrooms. <laughs> and the bathroom line is always busy. <laughs> Go figure. What is Glory doing back there? <laughs> Something that's very similar when you're a sex worker or a drag queen, people assume that you either you get sex all the time, so you don't want oh God, some like yeah. substantial relationship. <clears throat> and for a drag queen, you're like this subhuman being that doesn't deserve a relationship or a sex positive relationship. And neither of those things are true. And I'm not saying that everybody thinks this way. But there is a majority of people that just assume. I can relate because, I mean, I get tweets of the cuckoo. I don't have sex all that often. Like, I know how to have sex pretty well, I think. People treat you like a piece of meat in that right. regard. Mm -hmm. I actually get a lot of the most common thing. I get grabbed inappropriately at every show. I stand in a certain way that my back arches and my tights, there's a bit of a separation. People will like reach right down and then if you can imagine inappropriately like touching your body and sometimes entering your body in a very hurtful way and it's right. like that's not okay that is actually something that could be considered assault mm -hmm. and it's just inappropriate and okay. i i'm usually like what about this outfit <laughs> said you know what i'd like right now your finger with no lube inside of my asshole. I have been assaulted in the past, quite horribly, and I didn't know how to defend myself once upon a time. Now, uh, well, we'll have to do a class where I throw you over my shoulder, um, <laughs> which is very exciting. And so these people that touch me inappropriately at shows are often very surprised. <laughs> <laughs> like, finish her! Could you please do Mortal Kombat drag? Oh my god. I have a Scorpion costume. Yeah. 
so many there'd be so many deaths after every <laughs> show it'd be like so cute literal death drops yeah. like i'm like you want a death drop <laughs> she's headless fatality so so that's another thing that i love about drag is just costumes and who makeup knew and so much similar crops, lives so it's like pocahontas like just around the riverbend and you find oh. a porn star that's just like a drag queen porn stars and drag queens are just like you only we're in a basement and talking on a camera. Men will be men. I call them pigs, but... <laughs> men are pigs, that's what I learned. But some people actually <laughs> like being called a pig. Sure, yeah, it's Miss not a Piggy. bad thing. Well, yeah. I mean, she actually is a pig, though. Well, is she? She's kind of my drag mother. <laughs> the drag character that I created, once upon a time, was not the drag that I started with, but that was pre-drag race. Then everybody be started becoming a drag queen, which is wonderful. We need more drag queens in the world. I encourage everybody to try drag at least more than once, because um, you haven't even broken in your shoes. Just because of who your drag character is may not be who you are as a play. And for me, I do like vintage clothing, both in and out of drag. I do like old movies. I do like that type of aesthetic. I like to look put together. I like to look like I have money even when I don't. But if you want to give me money, you can buy my shirt oh, okay. at RobbieTurner.com. But the point is <laughs> that, like, you know, just who you are on stage and who you are off stage are not exactly the same thing. Thank you so yeah, much I had a great for time. coming. I had so much time. Like, mm -hmm. oh, so many things I learned. I know. And, and there's things people. I can't unlearn, too. Oh, fair. <laughs> Well, guys, that's all we have for today because we talked to your ears off. Bye! Bye! Three, two, one. Oh my god. Um. I just saw her. Oh my god! And. Oh my god. No. Um, they? No? No. No. Wait. Oh! Yep! Point one. Ah! <laughs> ah, I knew suckers. it was the violin was the violin was Thor game. <laughs> <laughs> oh!